Hey guys, uh, my name is Vijay Kumar Vaka. I am working as Senior Solution Consultant in F0. Today in this session, let us see uh, what is authentication and what is authorization. Okay. So this is a general concept, uh, right? Even uh, Mule, uh, we need to understand uh, what exactly is authentication and what is authorization. Okay. So for this, in order to give it as a demo, uh, I have prepared uh, this this thing. Okay. Uh, hope it makes some sense. Yeah. Yeah. So what is authentication? Authentication is something like it, it is like uh, who are you? Something like that. Right. Okay. So when you successfully authenticate. Okay. Um, I mean, you'll be your authentication is successful, and if it is not uh, proper, then uh, you are not uh, successfully authenticated, right? So, for example, there is an user, okay, and uh, he enters uh, his username or pass, I mean, unpassword uh, to to log into the AnyPoint platform, for example, okay. So, if his credentials are correct. That means uh, he'll be authenticated successfully. If not, he'll be rejected, right? He'll be not able to log in successfully. Okay. So this is um, like successful authentication. Okay. So it is like more of like who are you? Okay. So yeah. Uh, so that is what authentication does mean. Okay. So when authorization will start okay once a particular person is authenticated successfully then the concept like authorization will come okay so what does authorization mean it does mean that based upon the his role okay based upon the access privileges he was he or she was provided okay uh, based upon the authentication okay so uh, yeah, he'll be he or she will be authorized to particular resources. Okay, or he or she will be uh, able to uh, some particular. I mean, he or she will be able to access some sort of data. Okay, where they are authorized actually. Okay, so if you see here, okay, we'll have different roles, right? When you log into any point platform. Okay, so that is the reason I have put some message like, what is the role here? okay so if the if the user is related to as a developer for example okay so what permissions uh, do you have here so based upon the role he'll be uh, assigned different permissions right okay so that is what will come under authorization so here for example if a developer logins to the any point platform okay he let's say he has access to only dev one qa just for example, okay. For example, if admin uh, was successfully authenticated, okay, and his role was admin, okay, then based upon the permissions, okay, he was uh, uh, privileged to, okay, or based upon the his role, he was uh, authorized to access dev environment, QA, and production, all the environments all the available environments so yeah so this is about authorization so when a particular person is successfully authenticated okay then the author is authorization concept will come and come into the picture and also uh, based upon uh, his role okay after successful authentication okay so uh, based upon the permissions or the accesses he was provided based upon his role he'll be able to uh, or he'll be uh, he's authorized to access only that particular data or resources okay yeah so this is all about authentication and authorization okay in a simple terms i hope you like this video please subscribe to my channel and thanks for listening to my video